breathe, there is always a moment. Cheers, guys. Hello, guys. What is up? You welcome to another moment with Brooth. You know, with Brooth, there is always a moment. I miss you guys so much, and I know you miss me. I would love to apologize for being in my for the longest time. But guess what? I am back, bigger, and better. On today's episode, um, I have this app here called The Couple Game. Um, and it has a lot of some questions on there that I'll be answering. It's supposed to be for you and your partner, but once there's nobody here, I'll be doing this and telling you about all the other experiences that I've had, and I won't be doing that alone. <laughs> Hi, friend. So guys, let's get right into the video. <laughs> uh, the first question says, how do I feel about sharing together with my partner? Yeah, it's cool. It's nice. Like, it's a nice feeling. You get to be more intimate. Yeah, you are thinking about what you did the last time. Yeah, I know, I know. It's okay, I know. Don't think too much about it. The next question, um, what has been your most memorable intimate moment so far? Most intimate. Oh, it was a. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> it was like a, a really nice night. And the very celebration was some, um, you know, pet house, um, some wine, some food. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of things. It was a good night. Um. What are your favorite types of gifts to receive? If attention is a gift, please, I would love to receive attention. So if attention is a gift, it's part, right? But aside that, thoughtful gift, of course, you put some thought and effort into what you're giving me. I would definitely love that. Uh, so anything that, you know, we've probably talked about subtly or something I didn't come to ask you for, but you thought about you know the fact that it would be nice for me to have that and then you give it or you gift it to me i would really love or oh, appreciate that um the next question says what would you like to do or have more of in your relationship more conversations because communication i believe is like the most important in every relationship so if we can have more communication a more date night and more fun. Yeah, I would love that. Um, next question. Describe a situation when your partner looked especially hmm, attractive. Wow. Especially attractive. <laughs> Let me just, yeah. This is here for a reason. This is my companion today. Let me just, yeah, drink to that. <laughs> next question. Describe your perfect date tonight. Oh, you know the one I talked about? The moment um, I had with the petals and the wine and the food. Yeah, and all of that. It's perfect for me. We have conversations, we drink some wine, we talk, we, yeah, we just vibe. We watch a movie together. It could be anything we would love to but anyways. So yeah, that's perfect for me. Oh, you know I haven't tried this in quote date night thing where people dress up and go to restaurants and stuff. So yeah, I'm sure I'll want to try that sometime soon. Next, how would you describe your cleaning habits at home? Listen, cleanliness they say is best to cleanliness, and sometimes I am tired. I don't want to clean, but it feels for me it feels really good to be in a clean environment, and I'm able to sleep better. I'm able to relax better when the place is clean. So without that, I'm fine. And you know, describing my cleaning habits, I think I'm, I'm doing what I can and I'm doing my best. Uh, what do you think about having kids? It would be really nice to have kids, you know, have a boy and a girl, dressing together, matching outfits. Yeah, that would be nice. Cheers to that. Mm-hmm. That would be really nice. Describe your first crush. Hey, crush. I don't know. I don't even know who I had a crush on, but I will pass this question. What makes your relationship strong? 
for me it's communication. The fact that we are able to talk about how hurt you are about something before you go to bed. Like that's pretty much it for me. But then definitely there's been no they don't know what's happening with every other relationship I've had. You know, but something that's something I am big on. And depending on who it is with, it is easier. When we both like agree or believe in the same thing, which is sorting out our issues before we go to bed. Uh okay. How would you feel about a spontaneous date night? Listen, everything spontaneous bring it my way. I would definitely love a spontaneous date night. Hmm. Next question, guys. Next question, next question, next question. How would you react if your partner quits their job? Hey. It depends on why the person is quitting, anyways. Some of the reasons are very tangible. Like, it would make sense. And I don't mind, you know, being a support system in the meantime while you find something to do. Right? So, yeah, I, I wouldn't even really mind. Depending on the reason. Um. What can keep you up at night? Listen, I find it hard to sleep lately. So what can keep me up at night? Thinking. Watching a movie. An interesting movie, of course, because there are some movies that, listen, I'll watch the movie and sleep anyway. So that one, it doesn't count. It will not count, definitely. Okay. I like it most. This one, I'm supposed to complete the statement. It says, I like it most when my partner... That's nice thing or it's cute. That's like the limit sounds I can give right now. Yeah. What could your partner do to make your day even better? Surprise me at work. Bring me some some lunch. Yeah, because I'm probably having a, a tiring day at work. I'm having a, a creative block or uh, I mean people say writer's block, but I'm having a creative block. I can't create. Bring me some nice food. To motivate me to do a lot of nice things. Yeah. Guys, let's do two more questions and we are all oh, here. Hey, are you okay? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. How do you feel about physical affection in public? Oh my god, hit me with that. Hit me. I love it. I read my lips. I love it. Mm. That's just really nice. I am telling everybody else this is my person. Yeah, they have to know. They definitely have to know, so yeah, I, I really like like that shit. Next question, how important are words of affirmation and encouragement to you, to me? They are very important, like, if you are somebody, I mean, if you are love or you are my partner, right? And you are able to encourage me at some point, listen, it, that shit doesn't, it doesn't work. You should be able to encourage yourself, and that, shit, that makes me feel good. You're able to know that, listen, you are not alone. Is it my you that says that you are never alone or you don't walk alone or something like that? But it makes you feel like you are not alone and you have somebody who, who has your back and is willing to be there for you and encourage you when shit goes down. You feel me? Last question, last question, last question. How do you feel about sharing? Sharing is caring. Just like everything else. That's why I'm sharing wine with you guys so um since you can't drink it i'm drinking it on your behalf cheers wherever you are you can take the glass or whatever you're drinking and let's even if it's water cheers to that all right yes so sharing is caring and that is where i ended today's video guys this is where we end today's video thank you so much for watching today's episode you know like i always say there's always a moment to brew so do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you're new and you're welcome. What are you waiting for if you haven't subscribed? Please, please hit the subscribe button. Let's grow together. Let's have more fun because trust me, I'm bringing more content, content to you and yours without much ado. Thank you so much once again for watching. Mucho gusto to meet all of the new people. I'll be at all and I'll see you on another video. I love you. That friend is not another friend that will lose. There is always a moment. <laughs>